Hi there YouTube. So when they send you home with a beauty car like this, you get this nice little second generation, I guess they call it, wall charger. It's pretty cool. They just send you home with uh, one of these leads. This is the um, regular 110. It's pretty, uh, pretty amazing piece of circuitry because if you plug this into a crappy extension cord or a, a plug that doesn't work too well, this uh, this T over here shows up red and the car tells you um, that the plug is getting hot. <laughs> Pretty amazing. So um, this is just to show a quick hack that I've done where, um, you know, this is, this is what comes up on the phone. It, you know, shows a three miles an hour. I've seen it down at two miles an hour before. Um, and that's plugged into 110. As you see, it's gonna take 24 hours to fully charge before a road trip. That's a bummer if you wanna get it done tomorrow. Um, anyway, that's a picture from the phone. But so what I did here was with the, the plug I have, probably not supposed to just unplug it like that, but with a plug I have, I, uh, and knowing that um, this is the kind of plug that happened to be here, this is a, a 240 volt. Um, it's only 30 amp. This was, I guess it was here to uh, power uh, a big compressor. So this is, I got this cord from Home Depot. It says it's a dryer cord. It's six gauge, so that's that's plenty for any kind of charging. Six gauge is really thick wire. Um, and I just used and I just used the plates that come to the end of this six gauge wire. It has three little um, brass plates. And I put them in here. There's plenty of contact. This is this is only rated for 20 amp, but um, and there's little pieces of plastic that prevent you from putting any wire bigger than about a um, I don't know what gauge, but the gauge appropriate for 20 amp. And like I said, this is the heaviest plug I could find at Home Depot. In here, I just cut out pieces of plastic that prevented you from putting anything thicker in there, and without taking this apart the actual flat brass the flat brass plates are are clamped down to the screws so there's plenty of brass contact and um when I, oops when i plug in this 220 with um, a 110 plug <laughs> it works just fine i've tried this for days it um this is the this is what comes up on that one um it shows up saying eight volts and um the full 240 240 volts but it'll only pull eight miles an hour and it's not saying anything but that but this small uh 110 plug is not protesting or anything, which I'm sure it would since it can detect heat. And it's charging properly. I've tried this for days and days. And um, so the reason I went and bought a $20 dryer cord um, and did this Mickey Mouse-ness here is because I just wanted to use the plug I had and and try this setup because you know people don't want to get an electrician out and um, spend all kinds of money and um, here's the thing Tesla will sell you uh, this full complement of plugs and um, none of these uh, look like this one. This is this is just a a different plug. 
Um, and, you know, out of these seven, these are the smaller, you know, heavier voltage. Um, they've got different angles and, and these are, you know, for 220 still, but the, the prongs go in completely different directions. Um, not the same as what they send you home with, which will plug into any, any American wall socket. Okay. But as you see these thick ones, none of these four here, uh, would have plugged into this wall. So for a $20 dryer cord with six gauge wire hooked to a $3 plug here, um, yeah, I got it working. And like I said, it's charging at, um, at a rate of eight miles an hour. Um, so right now, so that's, that's a pretty good hack. So, um, this whole bundle of plugs, um, might be useful if you're going to different places and someone may have a plug like this in their garage wall. But, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change, um, this plug out right here to this one, which is, um, 50 amps and I bought the the plug from Tesla but I'm still curious to see whether you can get this pulling a whole the whole 30 amps and charge faster than this um, than this eight miles an hour that I've got going through that same plug I mean the question is does this household plug they send you home with uh, have some way of detecting um, that you maybe you've plugged <laughs> that maybe you've plugged um, this thing in that it all terminates the same when it plugs into here so what I'm going to do real quick before the next video so so this is just a, a quick hack to show that you can take the the 110 and plug it into straight into well straight apart from this um I don't know, it's like a 10 foot six gauge cord home depot 20 bucks three bucks for this and it's set up with plenty of contact nothing here gets hot and i actually just proved to myself that um there is some kind of temperature detector in here because like i said earlier I plugged it into this apparently super crappy extension cord and uh, the car was reporting that this plug was getting hot. So temperature gauge in there. So it's, it's pretty magic what they got going. So let me see. So what I meant to do is they give you this, this table of these are all the, the different plugs and they tell you the speeds you know I agree here and uh, you know so I, I've I've managed to pull yeah so if you pull 20 amps but that plug on the wall is at least 30 amps so the quick hack is gonna be I'm now gonna cut my dryer cord wire it into this bad boy here this is for later this is for when the electrician comes along and um and you're gonna just wire a nice stainless steel plate here wire it into this wall with here's four feet of eight gauge wire i could have gone six gauge but my electrician neighbor says this will be plenty it's four feet because um right behind this plug right over there there's on the other side of this wall there's a, a circuit board this is solar so the tesla is charging from the sun either way and uh you know i'm not so much trying to save money as just to see what's possible with their stuff and so okay the next video that's going to follow this is i'm going to take this dryer cord wire it into this plug into that directly with this 
and see how many miles per hour I can get out of uh, out of that socket without changing the socket, which I will do later. Um, yeah, so you know, I I think you know it's it's funny that um, given all these parts that are available from Tesla.com, not a single one of these um, looks like looks like that which from what I've seen is a very common setup for a dryer anyway I hope that wasn't too long-winded stay tuned for the next one that I'll publish right behind this one uh, which will you know, I don't want to bore you while I uh, cut this dryer cord wire it into this this wasn't too much money. This was 34 bucks on Tesla.com. This item was, I don't know, I don't know, I think about five or six bucks at the most. Um, and this little plug was, you know, three or five bucks. I can't remember. Uh, but all available at Home Depot. And like I said, eventually I'm going to have a true 50 amp, um, which will set me up to... Um, right over here so that'll be the the 650 which with the Model X will get me 20 miles an hour the best I can do right now is 8 like I said plug in this house current plug into some Mickey Mousery uh, more Mickey Mousery coming to see if we can get you know since 30 amps will give you 14, let me see if I can make that 814. Like I said, that video is coming right behind this one. And then the final thing is I'm going to properly wire it to plug in the wall so I can plug my Tesla in to this, this house away from home. Um, but anyway, let me just uh, get that done and we'll be right back.